Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, and uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, as Steve Jobs announced recently at one of the, his presentations, he said, rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, Ask, the, Ask the Techies is not dead. Uh, we've just moved, and that's been quite an ordeal and taken longer than anticipated. Um, as some of you know, I was working at Ohio University, and I've since accepted a position at James Madison University in Virginia. And um, so it's taken a while to move my family here, everything gets set up, get the feel of the new job. Uh, so that's taken a lot before I was able to kick in and start doing videos again, uh, making them available for you all. I've not been able to answer your questions, so I apologize for that. I'd like to make up for that by answering some questions for you today. Um, but. Uh, you know, it's taking a little while to get started, but I think we're going to be back. we got a lot of great things coming up for you this new season uh, of things, um, including um, Final Cut Pro Basics. So a lot of people have been kind of getting bored with things like iMovie, especially with the 08 version, and want to move up to something a little more powerful, things they can do a little more with, and Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Express is a great way to go. I'm going to show you some of the basics on that. You don't have to be, I mean, it can be a confusing program. There's so many bells and whistles. I'm going to show you the basic things so you can dive in and start working with that program and take advantage of some of its... Um, powerful features and easy to use interface, really, really. I'm going to make that simplify that for you. I'm also going to have Microsoft Office tips for you as always. I'm going to do show you uh, some of the new features on Flickr. It's a photo hosting service online that can also help you to edit your photos. Also going to give you an opportunity to see all the features that Google offers. There are Google Docs like word processing, presentation software, Google Calendar, Google Sites for web hosting. Lots of features. Going to have a whole series of information on that, as well as we're going to be answering a whole bunch of your viewer questions. All right. So with no further ado, let's dive right in. Let's see what we got here on the viewer questions. Thank, by the way, thanks to all of you who sent in emails, you know, asking about, you know, where's the show? Love the show. Um, hope you haven't stopped making them. We only had a t uh, temporary reprieve, so we could. <laughs> Uh, make the move, and I'm still trying to get set up with the key people here at James Madison University that can help me in the production of these. Um, but in the meantime, you got me, and I got some of your questions answered. All right. First question I'm going to answer today is uh, this one's from Brad, and Brad says he bought an iMation Apollo 250 gigabyte external hard disk drive, and he said he was not able to mount it on OS 10, not even see it in disk utility. What can I do? Well, two things could be the the issue here. First off, it could be the drive's just really bad, and you just got to throw it away. <laughs> uh, unlikely that's a situation. I have seen some situations where Apple has not liked looking at certain hard drives formatted in Windows format. And what I've done to actually fix that is I've taken the external hard drive to a Windows computer, formatted the drive then in NTFS, and then when I formatted it, or try FAT32 as another option, and then when I take it to the Mac, then I'm able to reformat the drive and then Mac should be able to see it using the disk utility program okay um, so give that a shot if you all aren't familiar with disk utility program um, you can just come up here to the, uh, the hard drive okay click on a drive and you go to your applications folder you scroll down you go to utilities and you scroll down you should find uh, disk utility is right there there we go. And save as disk utility app. I'm going to click cancel on that. Um, and so basically your drive show up over here. And then what you can do is you can choose to format. Like let's say I choose this drive here. I can choose erase. And I can choose the format that I may want to use on that. Okay. Um, so that's where you can uh, change to format the drive. And you can choose the name of it and choose the format that you want. But it should show up over here in order for you to be able to erase it. Okay. So hopefully that answers your question, Brad. All right. Next question. 